Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. Today we're going to talk about uh, deleting VATS and HP tuners. So we sell uh, complete turnkey LS uh, motors for swaps, like 5360, stuff like that. Um, I had quite a few questions from customers uh, over the years. Uh, one recently that bought a motor a year ago that uh, has, his H or has HP tuners, wants to um, do the basics of the tune himself just so he can get it to his uh, uh, tuner. Um, so he just needs to get it drivable. Uh, he has an 04 motor, uh, so it does not have electric fans, but he needs he's putting electric fans on so he wants to be able to, uh, number one, delete the vats, then add the fans so he can be at least be able to drive the vehicle. So today we're going to cover a couple different uh, scenarios on uh, vats deletion for Gen 3 and Gen 4, and also on enabling fans uh, for uh, control through the PCM. So first things first, let's open a file for... Uh, an 05 Sierra. Uh, this is a 60 truck Gen 3, um, so it will not have electric fans. But in order to disable VATS in a Gen 3 truck, you're going to go to System, and then depending on the version of HP tuners you're using, may this, this may look a little bit different. But you're going to go to VATS Control, and it's going to list out Serial, Pulse Width Modulated, or None. <clears throat> so you're going to want to set it to None. And then you can, you know, change the column lock and all this stuff if you like. But to get the to disable VATS in general, just in the Gen 3 motor, VATS control to none. Then you would save as, which we can't do because we haven't licensed this file. And then you would go to flash, and then you go to right vehicle, and then under right vehicle, you'll have multiple drop downs, and you're going to write complete. And it's going to say notice brickable, so make sure you have good battery voltage or do it on the bench. Every time you do a VATS control delete, you have to write complete. So you'll write complete for this particular uh, particular function. All right, so now let's go to a Gen 4 motor. And we're not going to save changes. And I can show you uh, on this other one when you save changes, uh, you know what it looks like and what it's going to cost you. Okay, so <clears throat> on a Gen 4 motor, so right here we have an 07 Yukon Denali. It's a 6.2 motor. That's a Gen 4. So on this one here, they moved it. It's going to be in the OS tab, and you're going to see it says VATS Patch 1 and VATS Patch 2. Don't ask me why there's different patches or what that all does, but just disable them both. Then you would go to Save As, and I always recommend saving as a different file name. Uh, don't overwrite your original file, and then you'd have to go and do a write complete. Also, a couple of things here. If you have a 6.2 motor, uh, or not a 6.2 motor, a 6.2, would not have DOD. Uh, other years, I believe, did. Uh, but 07, 08 did not uh, on the 6.2. So uh, if you have DOD, you'd want to go into Engine. It's going to be under Fuel. And then it's going to say Lean Fuel Assist, or it should be Lean Fuel something here. And then uh, you're going to go under the General tab. And under the General tab, you have a Master button for enabling and disabling DOD Delete. So you can disable, obviously this one by fault is going to be disabled because the 6.2 and 07 does not have DOD. So if you want to disable DOD, it's really easy, one click button, disable DOD. You're going to need to do that for your swap. As for the Gen 4, that's pretty simplistic. OS tab, VATS patch 1, VATS patch 2. Then you have your engine, and then it's going to be under fuel, and then lean fuel, and then disable your DOD with the master button basically super easy then you would do save as which I guess we can't do here and then uh, uh, you would write entire to the PCM now let's talk about fans so let's close this file here let's see if we can save it here Might, yep okay so show license options so <clears throat> we have to connect the interface in order to uh, bring up the different things but it'll give you options for licensing the whole model year uh, for that particular make and model um, how many credits to just license that file and then uh, one other option I can't remember off the top of my head I don't have my cable here so I can't hook it up and tell you um, but when you go to license a file it's going to cost you fifty dollars per license and it's two licenses per file or per computer so basically it's forty nine ninety nine per license so it's a hundred dollars just to get you know license that file now if you own uh, let's say you wanted to uh, <clears throat> write this particular file here. Let's just go and say it's this 07 Yukon. Let's say you want to write this particular file 
uh, to a Gen 4 computer, you'd have to have both this file license and the computer license for that year. Um, so you'd read your computer, you'd license your computer, so there's $100. Then you take your file that you want to flash to it, you'd have to license that as well, and then you could write it to the computer. So it costs you 200 bucks basically to write this file. Uh, but if you're just tuning a file that you read out uh, of your computer, um, or whatever you read to HP Tuner from whatever computer you're reading, uh, it's only going to cost you 100 bucks. So let's close this out, and then we'll touch on one other quick feature here. So 2000 GMC Yukon. So, this particular, anything 05 and newer that's not a 6.0 or 2500 truck is going to have electric fans. Um, I highly recommend the fan upgrade, even if you have a regular GMT 800 truck, uh, you'll notice a night and day difference. So this is going to be a Gen 3 file. And then uh, you'll come over to System, and then you'll go to Fans. Now, like I said, in different versions of HP Tuners, this looks a little bit different. But we'll open a Compare file here. Open Compare file. And we're going to open this 05 Sierra Gen 3 tune. And uh, we can't do it side by side. Okay, so right now we are in the uh, uh, 2006 GMC Yukon. And you're going to see it's set for two fans. <clears throat> you have different fan types. Uh, you obviously set for two fans. And then you can set your on off temperatures, the enable speed, disable speed. But the most important thing that people do not realize. Uh, when setting these things is your AC pressures. So you have to copy over these AC pressures. So what I recommend doing is basically oh, down, go to the tune repository, um, download uh, 06 up or 05 up file of a 1500 trucker SUV that would have electric fans and then copy these over and then tweak your, uh, your, uh, your settings for how you want your fans to operate. Now in order to get to this <clears throat> you have to have advanced mode on but first let's look at show the compare file so if you look at the compare file it's going to look like this <clears throat> you're going to notice that there's quite a few differences between the two so 208 let's, let's just go with the, the on engine um, coolant temperature so on the 06 Yukon file uh, 208 uh, on this one here set for 226 you know 219 off obviously second stage fan 235 237 Enable AC is 325, 230, and then over here is 240, 180. Let's go back to our, our other file, 284, 220, and then 310, 230. So there is somewhat of a difference between the two. But in order to get to this, you have to have the advanced mode on, which let's go to, let's see, view, I believe. Yeah, so under basic view, um, let's see if I can close this. So under basic view, you'll see you no longer have those options. So we have, yeah, okay, so change it for both. So basically, in order to get these other options, instead of just the temperature, because this is set up for basically beginners, uh, you have to go to edit, view, and advanced. And then we'll close this out, settings, and then this will allow you to change those parameters. So quick recap, Gen 3, system, You'll have, under general, you'll have your VATS control, which you'll set to none. You don't really have to worry about the rest of the stuff. Electric fans, which most people are going to be running electric fans. Now, I will say this, 03 up, you can control the fans completely from the computer. Uh, there's two different pins. We do have a video about that on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, but if you do uh, a 99-02 computer, you can only use the low side to trigger, and you have to use a different, uh, a different method to trigger the high side. Uh, but you can still tune it through the computer. But your fan control, like I said, is inside of the uh, fan uh, fan uh, tab under advanced. Got to make sure that you have your view to advanced. And I didn't really need to do that. Make sure you have your view to advanced. And then, you know, make sure, like, let's say here's your pre-2005 file or three-quarter ton file would be right here. So you'd have to change it to match those of a half-ton file that would have electric fans. And you can do your tweaking there. And just for a quick recap, we'll go to Gen 4 computer. And let's open up this Denali file again, 07 Denali. System would not have your control for VATS. All that's been moved in Gen 4. So you go to your OS tab, and you're going to have VATS patch 1, VATS patch 2. Don't ask me what they do, but they've uh, changed some things in the Gen 4 stuff. 
Bats patch 1, Bats patch 2, and with both of these in both Gen 3 and Gen 4, it does require when you go to flash, right vehicle, on your drop down, right and tire. Hopefully that helps you if you've uh, got an LS swap and you're just new to HP tuners trying to get it started. Uh, obviously without the BCM or the other, the other security features uh, incorporated to uh, the computer to keep it from starting, HP tuners is very user friendly. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about uh, EFI Live. I've never used EFI Live, but I think I've been, I've been getting a lot of requests on how to do certain things. I think I'm going to invest in the EFI Live here shortly and uh, start exploring with that. But I've had HP tuners forever, so I'm just really, really familiar with it. But everything you really need is going to be under your System tab in Gen 3 and your OS tab in Gen 4. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer. There's a lot of people in the community that are very familiar with this that can, I'm sure, comment and help you along as well so comment below and uh, hopefully we can help you get those answers.